It is Lunas Macho Monday. Ian Torch here and folks, wrestling in the Lone Star State is back, baby. MPX knocked the roof off the joint at their show. That's right, Metroplex Wrestling bringing it to you this past Saturday, as well as AAPW in Austin, Texas. And there were some thrills, chills, and spills in that one. You had quite the comeback, a few debuts, and some nice shockers. In fact, one match that stole the show, the tag match featuring Manny Domingo and Ace Seidel against Bad Bad Leroy Brown and Zach Taylor. Manny took a nasty spill on the outside near the end trying to take out Leroy Brown. But he muscled through and with some quick thinking was able to fake out their opposer, uh, bleh, their opponents, the opposing opponents, as Ace tagged himself in and went for the pin without anyone expecting it. Like I said, you just got to go back and watch the match. It damn near stole the show. You also had Grayson Knox take on Insane. And I don't know how the Seattle Washington Warlock pulled it off, but he got one over on the seasoned vet. And from the sounds from the locker room, you could tell the Insane was not pleased after the match. You know, he hasn't done a lot of interviews since then, but hey, maybe I can get something out of him within the week or so. If anything, a written transcript. You also had T-Ray flexing his might as the warrior, you know, the former best kept secret in wrestling. And I only say it that way because everyone knows about T-Ray now. Faced off against a newcomer. From Intercourse, Washington, that's right, the mighty Eli, the Amish, well, the Amish onslaught, so to speak. This kid was solid and somehow was able to survive a sleeper assault by the veteran and pinned him for the one, two, three. Speaking of veterans, and upcoming Young Lions, man, a young man going by Atlas faced off against the pinfall wizard Steve Arino. And Steve O's taken on all sorts, shapes, sizes, and then some. But even he can only go so far. And when it came to just raw physical aggression, Atlas got the win. But that doesn't mean he's going to get two on Steve Arino. If those two do cross paths again, you know Steve-O will have definitely done his homework four times over. And then there was the, what we thought was going to be the retirement of Austin James. A young gun who unfortunately had an accident a few months ago that practically cost him a leg if hyperbole is to be believed. But Pluto Mars was still ready to face him if he was cleared for combat. And the visitor himself never underestimates us Earthlings. And it's a good thing he didn't because Austin was ready to go. And even though he wasn't at 100%, still gave Pluto Mars quite the fight and shocked us all. Then there was the triple threat, and I'm not talking about just one. There were two triple threats. The first was for the women's title, as Vita Loca faced off against Madison and Vert. But would Vita hold on to her title, or would one of the local ladies bring it back to AAPW? And just when Madison thought she had it, Vert caught her off guard chucked her out of the ring, and made the pin herself, scoring the title. So she 
is now the women's champion at AAPW. As for the big match, the main event, you had the American champion, El Rayo, the social media champion, Rob the Builder, and the Preacher of Pain, the heavyweight champion, Christopher Black, with the backing of none other than Benjamin Greenback. This had just about everything. Rob practically had Ohio pinned in the middle of the ring. The one, the two, then Greenback yanks the ref out of the ring to break up the pinfall, giving Christopher Black a few extra seconds to try and take him out. Rob thought he had it, dodging a big boot. But lo and behold, it was El Rayo with one of his hurricane kicks landing the final blow and getting that one, two, three to be your United Champion, undisputed, heavyweight, social media, and United States Champion. But now, let me have a go. Live from the Banquet Hall, a mixed match of my own. Alexi really wants to get into the show. Who's facing the Congo Kid first? Yes. Welcome to another Black Plague may be number one, but I can tell you right now, Congo Kid and Silver God is money. interesting. But if Alexi wants in so freaking bad, that's fine. We have other champions. And some new faces too. we go. Alexi with the wrestling clinic, Amari Fang, the undeniable passion, and Reva Roughneck with that MVP performance. That's to start the show off, people. is going. Yes. I ex I definitely love where this is going. Yes. And we're going to make it a ladder match because the winner will get their chance at a title shot next show. Let's see your all out brawl. Yeah, 
Yeah, guerrilla tactics. Jack and Intruder taking on Banger and Hustler. Which will definitely lead to something nice, I can tell you that right now. Wait, okay, this isn't for the belt. Yeah, let's have Donnie Atomic give it a shot against who, though? Cruiser weight after all. Nah. Ooh. All right, battle of the sexes yet again. So why not? Oh, mother, you're being called. Mother Mercy versus Domingo. Jesus, this is going to be amazing. Hmm. Well, here we go with this one. answer that so let's get things started and we're starting the night off with a triple th um okay well then I guess the feed wore off Alexia's has opponent lined up blam Russian interference one two three Gene Kinji's going to make one last attempt to climb the ladder. He's reaching for it, and he's got it. This one is over. And he injured himself in the process. Great. Hijack and intruder attack Banger and Hustler backstage. This brawl looks dangerous. A potential feud in the process. Xandar Kata's opponent, the sleeper. Now he's whispering in their ears, speak of the devil, ring the bell. Mother is dominating. She's ready to finish her opponent off. No mercy. One, two, three. Gridiron is down in a three-point stance. And there he goes. Oh, blindside sack. One, two, three. Silver God has his opponent in a position. And there's the God Complex. One, two, three. We have a new TV champion. Well, there we go with that. I wish we could get a replay. Put us back in the third place, that's nice. Well. Just be ready for next week, folks. It's gonna get crazy. Heading into ladies night, what's gonna happen? We don't know. But until next time, remember, like, share, and subscribe. Ring that bell to stay notified, and I will keep you up to date on other shows coming when everything opens back up, because wrestling is alive and well, folks. But until then, I'm Ian Torch. This is Agriculture presents Lunas Macho Monday. And that's it. It's over. Ring the bell.